All right, this is the video walkthrough for the 2020 Salem Hemisphere Hyperlite 25 RBHL. Up front, you have your front tongue jack. You have up and down. Uh, you have a light uh, right here if you're hooking up when it's dark. Uh, your coupler. Uh, you got a nice chain holder right there. Uh, your breakaway cable uh, for your emergency brake. <coughs> and then you have... Uh, your uh, seven-way holder right there. Uh, you have a new 12-volt battery. Uh, and your propane tanks are under this cover. This just slides up. Put that up. You have two 20-pound propane tanks. Uh, they're both full, ready to go. Uh, you just turn this knob uh, open. Uh, and then you have gas going through. Uh, your regulator is right here. You have an arrow telling you what tank it's drawing from. Right now it's green. That means there's gas going through. Uh, if this tank goes empty, uh, which is pointing to right now, if this goes empty, uh, it'll automatically switch over to this one, the little valve inside. Uh, but this itself won't move. You have to move this manually. Uh, so if one goes empty, this will turn to red. Uh, but it'll start drawing from the other one if that's on. Uh, then just to take one off uh, to go get it filled, just make sure you switch that over so it's drawn from that one and it doesn't leak out the other side. Uh, on this side you have front storage access uh, and there's magnets to hold up the door. Uh, decent pass-through storage. Uh, you have a battery disconnect right there. Uh, so this little key, uh, you twist it and it comes out. Uh, and then to have it on, you just go like that. Uh, you have a spray port on the other side, and this is a hose for it. It's just like an air hose. Uh, you push back the coupler, and this slides in, and then you got a hose to spray things off. Uh, you have the crank there for your stabilizer jacks. And that's right here. You got them on all four corners. Uh, once you get leveled and unhooked from the truck, um... You just crank these down until they hit the ground and then half to three quarters of a turn uh, just to give them a little pressure. Uh, then you have um, a wastewater outlet right here and this will be for your bathroom. Or I mean for your kitchen sink. Excuse me for that. Uh, so you just hook your hose up to there. Uh, this cap unscrews and then you pull the valve open and it'll drain. Then your sewer outlet for your bathroom is back here. Uh, and this will have your toilet and your sink and shower. Uh, and it's labeled right there. So the one on the left right there, that's your black tank. That's your toilet. And that one's your gray for sink and shower. Uh, then your water heater's back here. Uh, that little tab just turns and opens and the cover pulls off. Uh, that's your plug and anal rod uh, that just screws in right there and that little rod um, is for the calcium to eat away at that instead of the tank. Uh, this is gas and electric. Um, so for the electric, the switch is outside. You just flip that switch on and then you'll have electric heating your water. Uh, just make sure this is full of water before you uh, turn the water heater on. Close that up. Uh, then back here is your, where your power cord hooks up. This is a 30 amp service. Uh, so when you go to a campground, just make sure you get the 30 amp hookup. Uh, when you're at home, you can plug into a household outlet with an adapter. Just don't run your air conditioner. Uh, then outside shower. 